This short video is just to show a bar choice and the bracing that is attached in, an, in the assembly area to make up the bays that are lifted into the roof structure. This is a single bar joist. Notice that the end of the bar joist has a bearing structure. This bearing structure is what attaches to the beam. It's and it's usually welded into place immediately upon being set. The top cord of the bar joist is, are two angles, or normally two angles, and these angles are welded against or around steel rods that form the open web. These rods are sometimes individual pieces or sometimes just a zigzag of rods that run the length of the joist. As bar joists are put together, they form a series equally spaced to create a bay. The spacing of the bar joist determines how much load they can carry. There's the depth of the bar joist and then the spacing. If they're spaced, say, 24 inches apart, that means that each bar joist carries 24 inches of load in width along its entire length. The advantage of a bar joist is that it's very lightweight structure. Its disadvantage is that it has a great deal of deflection, in other words, a lot of bounce. It's not a rigid structure. Another, another disadvantage is when it's put in place on the, on, in the steel framing, they're very unstable. They're so lightweight that they'll move from side to side. These cross braces are required by code to be between every single bar joist. That keeps them laterally stable. In addition, the cross bracing needs to be welded or bolted to some side stabilizing area. That's either a beam or a wall.